I could never make anything as perfect as an Apple product, but Apple could never make something as fucked up and flawed as one of my sculptures. The output of the studio is multifaceted, so sometimes one exhibit isn't enough to show the breadth of what we do. Even though we have three exhibits, there are still many things that we don't show. We have sneakers, we have movies, and we're always working on them. And maybe most interestingly, we are working in Web3 with a rocket factory. Well, I love my computers. They're perfect. There's nothing better than an iPhone, but it doesn't show that a human being was there. The one advantage that humans have over computers is our individuality, but the algorithm does not benefit from our individuality. The algorithm prefers homogeneity. So in a way, our natural impulses as human beings to show our flaws must be amplified. And that is the goal in my art, to show how it's made. And that is in everything from a sculpture to a sneaker to a movie, to a painting, it's all the same. It's a thing, but it's the thing to support a ritual. You know, maybe it's a party is the ritual, but the sensuality in the party is the sound, you know, the touch of other people, the companionship. But the music is what binds it. And the boom boxes are all different sculptures that support those activities. And the exhibition is from 1996 to this year and representing different projects from the space program to the tea ceremony to a yard style party that I threw in the, in the 90s to, you know, just being in Seoul. I mean, the big pink boombox in a way is made for the city of Seoul. So welcome to the um, boombox retrospective. TV Yoda is an homage to uh, Naim June Pike's TV Buddha um, from the early 1970s, where Buddha is, stand, is sitting watching himself on a closed circuit TV. In TV Yoda, I replaced Buddha with Yoda because Yoda is the Buddha of consumerism because he is the, has the values of Buddhism as told through the lens of Star Wars. But he's not sitting, he's standing because he's shopping. In our rocket factory, a rocket is assembled in digital space that gives the instructions to me to assemble the physical rocket, to launch it, then to ship it to you. Then the video of the launch is attached to the metadata, to the NFT. So the, it starts in digital space. We then make it in physical space. We take a video and then attach that back to the digital component, which we cannot make without doing the physical. So we come full circle to combine these two dimensions, Web3 and physical space, because smart contract will succeed really only when it's linked with meat space, real world components. Stay tuned, there's a lot going on. I think um, if you haven't gotten involved with the Rocket Factory, it's maybe a really good time. We're working with Mona, which is a new metaverse, sort of like Decentraland, but much, much bigger. So it's a good time to get involved. You can get a Mars rock and transform that into an entire world that belongs to you. So come, join us in the Tom Sachs universe.